hey guys we got our channels working we can click on them and we see how in our URL up here we are actually changing the current channel we're in but right here we're displaying it but we don't actually see the channel there and the reason for this is our sidebar is not passing the data over here so if we look at our code our sidebar is kind of encapsulated and we need to in our sidebar we're fetching the data the all teams query and that's how we're knowing what uh, getting the data for our channels but then over here I'd like to know the channel name for my header and my send message component that way I can see those so this is usually known as lifting up the state uh, but since we don't have any state this is really just us lifting up GraphQL uh, query so instead of putting the GraphQL query in sidebar we're actually going to make it in view team so we're going to do a quick refactor and add uh, GraphQL here and then we can pass the channel name is in. So we're gonna copy this, paste it in here, and instead of sidebar, we're gonna do view team, and we need to import these guys. So import uh, GraphQL, and that's coming from React Apollo. And we can grab our import for our GraphQL here. So now we're going to be pulling in the query up here so we can grab the props. So before we were grabbing what? Loading in all teams. So I'm going to make this a regular function now with a, oops, with a return statement. And that way I can do some extra stuff at the top. So I'm going to say data, and we're going to get loading, and then all teams. Oh, and it doesn't like it. Oops. It doesn't like it because I didn't put a comma. Save. There we go. And I'm just going to undo and add right here. If loading, we're going to return false. I mean null. That way we do a blank screen. So now we have all teams. So basically the stuff we were doing here we want to do over there so I'm just gonna copy this and let's see all teams I can just pass in all teams to this component too um, so the uh, current team ID is really just params team ID so let's grab const team ID from params and really what we could do is just actually deconstructure it up here so team ID and use that here and now find index we're getting from lodash so let's copy that move it up here so now here to our sidebar we're really going to pass all teams and we're grabbing that straight from our prop and then also the team the current team and maybe we can just pass in the teams we can actually create this um, object here because I'm trying to see is there any place else we use all teams no so let's just pass in team and teams and then here we can actually do the same the same thing we're doing here where we're creating the we're mapping and we're grabbing the first letter there we go so now teams and team and so in my sidebar over here I'm gonna get const team this is coming from the props now so we can delete all these teams and team so pass the teams in here and then the team we're already using here so I can get rid of GraphQL now we can just export default up here and we don't need any of these things and we don't have this anymore and we don't have loading we still are gonna check out what well, we're checking out the token oh to get the username yep all right 
So the rest of that looks good. So now this should work the exact same. Um, clicking on these, we're able to switch. We see our teams still here, or sorry, our teams here and our channels here. So everything still seems like it's working. Let's create a new team and make sure it still shows up here. So we'll say C. Yep, and I can switch between the two teams, okay. So notice how we just took all our, our, our actual GraphQL request and added it to this view team component and uh, took the actual choosing which team ID or which team we're grabbing. So now that what this allows us to do is here to just get the current channel name. So the way we know what channel is actually from our parameters. So we have up here a given channel. So channel ID I believe is the parameter. And that's coming from our, not that index, but here. Yep, we call it channel ID. And if we see, if we click on that, we can see it pop up. But you notice when I first change channels, we don't have a default, so that can be null. So we need to be careful and uh, cover the null case for a null channel ID. So now we want to do uh, basically find the current channel. So current channel is equal to. So we're going to check if we have a channel ID. If we do, and let's cast this to a boolean. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I haven't, so you notice how I, I, that casts this to a boolean, I haven't been doing that, but someone made a comment about how it hurts performance and also uh, it's it's basically better, uh, just a better style to cast it like this. So I'm gonna start doing this uh, mainly for the increased performance too, because it's kind of sloppy not to cast your, your variables to uh, ints, or not ints, to booleans. So I'm going to be started doing that. So cast this guy to a boolean. So if the channel is undefined, we're going to handle that over here. Otherwise, let's grab the channel from our team. So channels. And we're going to do find index again. So we'll say const um, channel idx. And we actually can follow the same logic we use up here to choose it. So I really just copy this. Except instead of doing all teams, we're gonna do team.channels. And I believe, let me just look at the all teams query. We are grabbing the channels. Yep. And we're looking at the channel ID and we want to find the ID and otherwise we just get the first channel. Is that what we want? I'm trying to think if the first channel will always be the general. I guess grabbing the first channel is fine. So let's do team.channels and grab the first one. Oh. We're already, I was, I was grabbing the first one, but we already, we, we're already grabbing that here, so we're good now. So now our current channel, we're gonna pass in the name and stuff here. Actually, let's just call it channel, since we're calling this team. And do channel.name. And we're gonna pass that to our header as well. So now we should see as we switch channels, uh, the names here. So now we're currently in channel one, now channel two, C9, and awesome. So now as I'm switching, we're aware of what channel we're in. Very cool. So now when we get to the messages, we can just pass in what the channel ID is down like this and do channel.id. And that way we know when we're typing a message down here, I'm like blah blah and hit enter we know which channel to actually create the message in so that's important so when we have multiple components that are on the same level that need to know the data uh, we need to lift up where we're actually getting the data from and not put it down in our sidebar but bring it to a shared component like view team and pass it down across all of them so that's pretty good we uh, 
in the next video what we're going to do is actually start adding members to the team so we'll add a little link button here i can click on we'll get a little modal pop down and we can start adding users and then we can finally start chatting to users once we have other users in our channel so that is it for this video guys thanks for watching and as always the code is up on github